Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with ElementorServices.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create a download button for your Elementor website. This is a button where when somebody clicks on it, it will download a file onto their computer. I'm gonna show you three different ways to set this up, and at the end, I'm going to give you two pro tips. So make sure to watch this video to the end to get those two pro tips. So you see here that I have this little thank you page I created just for this exercise. And so that is one particular application of what I'm going to show you is that somebody signs up for your email list, you then redirect them to a thank you page and you want them to be able to download whatever it is you're giving away for free, in this case, a PDF, immediately onto the computer. So once they click on this button here, they can download your free gift. So that's what we're going to take a look at how to do in this video. So let's take a look at the first way to do this. And what we're going to do first is we're going to upload the file that we want people to download. We're going to upload it into our WordPress dashboard into the media library. So we're going to come over here to media, add new, select files, and I'm going to upload this file here, this PDF. Go ahead and open it. Okay, what I can do here now is copy the URL if I want to do it right there. Or if you already have a file that is uploaded in your media, media library, you can come here to the library, click on the file right there, and then copy the link here. Either copy it this way, control C, or right there, copy URL to clipboard. So I already have the link copied, and now what I wanna do is I wanna come back to the thank you page. So I'll click there, and I wanna edit the button. So I'll click on that, and I wanna drop that link right here where it says link. So I'm gonna drop it in there, and I also want this to open a new window. So I'm gonna come here, click on that little gear icon and put a check mark there next to open a new window and go ahead and update this. Now let's go ahead and preview changes. And now when I click here on this download button, it should open that file in a new window. So I'll click there and there we have it. it open up in a new window just as I asked it to. Now in this case, the file did not actually download onto my computer. In order to do that, I would need to come up here and click on that button right there. So with this method here, there is an extra step involved in the people who are downloading files from your, from your Elementor website. The other two methods I'm going to show you, the file will download directly onto somebody's computer. So let's take a look at the first of those two methods right now. So the second method, what I wanna do first is I wanna take this file here and I wanna zip it. So I'm gonna click here, do a right click on my mouse, come here to send to, and click there on compressed zipped folder. And up here now I have that very same file, but now it is in a zipped folder. So I'll come back here and in my dashboard, go to media, add new, and go ahead and select files and click on that right there, the zipped version, and go ahead and open it and go ahead and copy this URL and then come back here to the thank you page and go ahead and paste this new link in here. And in this case, I don't want it to open in a new window. It'll look a little strange. I played around with it. It's better to have it open in the same window. So go ahead and update this. And you see here, this page is automatically updating the background. And now if I click on that, you see I get the download box and somebody can go ahead and they could open it if they want to, but they could also save it right to the computer. So that is the second method. This With this second method, with the zip file, they can download it immediately, download the file immediately onto their computer. Now for the third method, what we wanna do is we wanna come back to this very original file that I uploaded into my media library. So this is the unzip file. I'm gonna copy this right here. Come back over here, and again, I'm gonna paste that in here. And I wanna click here again on the gear icon. And under custom attributes, I wanna type in the following. I wanna type in download equals, and in quotation marks, true. By the way, right here I've used the double quotation marks. I've tried it with just a single quotation mark it works just as well. So either one, either double quotation marks or single quotation marks. So I'll go ahead and update this. And again, this page is updating. And again, I click right there. And once again, I can open with Firefox, open with a default browser, or click right there and save the file directly on my computer. So those are the three ways to set up a download button 
on Elementor. But now let me give you a couple of kind of pro tips, pro tricks that you can use to extend what I've shown you here in this tutorial. So here's the first tip. Every single tutorial that I looked at on YouTube that talked about how to set up a download button within Elementor does so using a PDF. And that's great. That's what I have right here. That's what we've been looking at is a PDF file. But guess what? You can do this with other types of files as well. Other files that you can add into your media library. So you see here, I have an MP3 file, uh, an audio file. Here I have an MP4, a video file. You could also do, for example, a Microsoft Word document, an Excel document, you know, whatever you can add here into your media library, you can then set to have downloaded onto somebody's computer. So let's take a look here at the video. So I'll click there and copy that URL, come back over here and paste that URL in here. Go ahead and update it. And again, this is being updated and now it's updated and I click on that and now we see that it's downloading this MP4 file. So again, you're not limited to just PDFs. You can do other types of files as well. So here's the second pro tip. What we've been looking at so far in this tutorial is how to set up a download button within Elementor. But you can use other widgets from Elementor to set this up as well. So let's say you want somebody to be able to click on an image and have a file download onto their computer. So what we can do here is the same thing. Drop an image in here. Go ahead and add an image to this particular widget. Let's just go with this one right here. And I'm gonna come here and under link, I'm gonna go with custom URL. Go ahead and paste that in there. Again, click on that gear icon and we'll put in this download equals true. And go ahead and update this. Open this up again. And when I click on that, you get the download box. So that is another way to do it. You don't have to do it just with buttons. You can do it with other widgets within Elementor as well. So for example, as far as I know, let me cancel that. Come over here. You can do it with a header. If I drop a header in here, actually, I guess I already had a header in there, but right here I have the link option. And again, I have that gearbox so I can put in the custom attribute, or again, I could do a zip file without putting in the custom attributes. You could do it with a header. You could have somebody click on a header to download a file. Uh, call to action. I drop one of these in here and come down to content. And then here under button text, right there, you have your link. And again, that gear thing where you can add in the custom attribute. So you're not limited to just buttons. You can set up other widgets as well, not all of them. There are only certain types of widgets that allow you to add a link to them. But if you can add a link to a particular widget, then you can have somebody click on that and the file will download onto their computer. So that is the second pro tip in terms of setting up automatic downloads from your Elementor website onto somebody's computer. So that is how you set up a widget within Elementor that somebody can click on to download a file onto their computer. If you have any questions at all about this, please let me know in the comments below. And also make sure to check out the Elementor Services website. We have a lot of different services that can help you with Elementor. So that's it. Hope you found this helpful and I hope you see you next time. Bye.